Ah oh, man, today has just been one of those days. morning everybody just had my first night out in the cab and um, wasn't too bad the bed's a bit of a mess now I forgot to bring my pillows with me so I've only got the one pillow so I had to put some hoodies underneath that one pillow to sort of hide up a little bit um, a sleeping bag I think I ended up throwing the sleeping bag on top of me. <laughs> so um, anyway, let's get the engine on. I need to build up some air in the system. Um, yeah, so I mean, it took a while to uh, get comfortable, but once I did get comfortable, to be honest with you, I didn't really want to wake up this morning. But I'm up. Ease going. Gonna, I put my card in a while ago before I even started the engine, done all my checks. I've got neighbours next door with me, next door to me, so I didn't want to start my engine too early. But once the air builds up, we'll go. Um, so yeah, I put my card in about 4.45. And it's 5 o'clock now. Just got to finish off some paperwork from yesterday. Still nowhere. Three seven six seven two four. Three seven six seven two four. So we are on our way to Farnham. Hour and twenty minutes away or so. I'm on to the sat nav. Go into a build base, uh, and then we've got to come back and get loaded and go somewhere else. And I'm not sure if I'm doing two or three today. The boss reckons it's going to be three, but I think they only said two. So um, we'll wait and see. I'll see what they say when I get back. Have some lemonade juice. As soon as my air goes up in my seat, I know I'm good to go. One of my tanks is below six. I'm ready to go. Just waiting for the seat to go up. That's now come down. Let's turn my lights on ready. Gonna rev the engine ever so slightly just to build up the engine, uh, build up the air. I'm not sure if we can still see me with the lights off. What's that? That bridge, apparently there's a towel to go on that. Just realised my seat ain't going up because I've not told it to. There we go. Right, so I've done my checks, we're good to go. Might be parking back here again tonight, I'm not sure yet. Part of me wants to, part of me doesn't want to. Just go left here. So yeah, we're just getting loaded down there on the right hand side.
I do like the fact that the roads are just so quiet at this time in the morning. I do like that. You can just go wherever you want to go. <laughs> There's no one in your way. Right, hello guys. So we're just now trying to get out of this place. Little wheel spinach. That should be enough. Now we can go forward. Take a wide swing. Miss the entry uh, there. The wall over there, and off we go. Right, so we've just uh, just finished tipping in our first load in uh, Farn Farnham. So now we're heading back to Southampton, or the hub, as I'm calling. Mind my trailer, don't hit that. Uh, and then we're going to get loaded for another run. Pass this woman. Right, so off we go. Got to take this turn in quite wide as well. So that the trailer don't catch any of that over there. It's a tight turn. Red light for me. Oh, don't. I could have gone then, mate. Fuck me. Got a guy running on, on my blind spot. Could have just hit him. Um, yeah, the guys here, they just disputed their waiting time. I turned up on site at 20 past six. They don't open till seven o'clock. So I said, fair enough. I put down seven o'clock, that was it. As soon as they don't open till seven. That's, that's fine, that's fair enough of me. Uh, and then I just finished tipping at eight o'clock. So I put seven to eight. And they're disputing it, saying, oh, well, we don't normally tip until half seven anyway. So I said, look, I'm not being funny, but whether you pay or not, it doesn't bother me, you know, it, I'm not seeing any of that money. But my boss does, and he needs to know when I was on site. So I said, I'm putting, I was here at seven to eight, but he refused to sign it. So I do need to actually call my boss up and tell him that they didn't want to sign. So yeah, anyway, back to Southampton. Um, and I'm not entirely sure where we're actually going, but we'll find out. Right, so we've just done that load now in Portsmouth. We're making our way back to Southampton now. Uh, it's only around the corner. It's only like 14 miles away. So uh, we're gonna make our way back to Southampton, get loaded again to go somewhere else. Um, and then try and get back before four o'clock to preload for the morning. If I can't preload for the morning, then I'll park up around the corner underneath that bridge again. So, um, yeah, that's the plan. So let's go get loaded. Right, so sit rep. This morning we went to Farnham, come back here, got reloaded, went to Portsmouth, come back here, been here now for two hours nearly waiting to be loaded and um, no sign of being loaded yet. They keep going past the pallets but nothing's actually going on the bed. Bloody hell right, as soon as I start saying it's not going on the bed, look they start loading me. Right so now I'm getting loaded after two hours. Got to take it to Winchester. I don't think I'm going to get back in time. But I'll drop it off. I don't think we're going to get back in time to park up under that bridge I parked up last night. I think it's going to be busy, but I'm going to have to come back anyway, just to see, because it's literally around the corner from here where I need to come back to. If it is busy, I might just park on the road. 
But if I can't park on the road or under the bridge, I'm going to have to find somewhere else to park. So it could be interesting. I think I'm going to be a lot longer though, because I think I've got loads of pallets going on. It's really frustrating. The waiting around is what annoys me the most. Been here two hours, I could have gone could have gone to where I'm getting tipped out in Winchester and come back and be parked up. But um just really annoying. I love the job, I love driving, I just hate sitting still. Ah oh, man, today has just been one of those days. Um and I, I, I realise that this vlog probably isn't the best vlog out there that I've done. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't showed much um, of where I'm going and tipping, and I don't really know why. It's just been a long day. I started at a quarter to five this morning, uh, and the time now is quarter past six. Just being preloaded for the morning. I'm in Southampton right now, the hub. And I'm being preloaded to go to Newbury, so hopefully I'm going to park around the corner where I parked last night. Uh, and go from there. But it's just been a royal pain in the ass today. There's been it's just been so much waiting around, and it it annoys me because I I hate waiting around. I hate doing nothing. But to top it off, I've probably been just sat waiting around for like at least three, maybe four hours today. And it's six o'clock in the evening, and I just think, well, that could be five, four, three. It could be two o'clock in the in the afternoon. Do you know what I mean? And I could be preloading for the for the job in the morning. And when you think like that, it just, it pisses you off. And I'm sorry for swearing, and I am. It just really annoys me. Uh, never mind, I got like two loaders now loading me. Oh, he's just knocked my pivot thing. Like it looks right. Yeah, so I'm supposed to be going to Fleet tomorrow. But that's changed. This is my paperwork for today, so I had Farnham this morning, then Portsmouth. I've just been to Winchester and now I've got to go to Newbury tomorrow. So I've done three runners today. I should be going home tomorrow as well. I hope so because I've only got a couple of pairs of underwear left. I don't want to be doing inside out dobby. <laughs> I've got a spare pair, I've got a pair for tomorrow and I've got a spare pair just in case. But I think next time I'd bring more than enough, like for a whole week, just in case. Because you never know, I might need to stay out tomorrow night and a Thursday night. In which case I need to pop to shops. I'm not wearing dirty underwear. Um, so yeah, um, apologies for um, the lack of content in this vlog. I, I really do plan on getting a GoPro or something set up on the back. Um, but I'm still, still sort of getting used to the job. It's, uh, it's a lot of waiting around, like now, but you're not allowed out of the cab, it's very strict. If you go outside without your hard out or your, your high vis, you get told off. Um, while they're loading you, you can't do anything, and while you're waiting around when, when there's traffic going around, you, you can't get out of the cab. But then, when you deliver the stuff, you're not allowed in the cab, it's weird. So I kind of got to get things ready at the right time because I can't hop in and out of the cab while it's being loaded and unloaded basically. Never mind. Anyway, thank you for watching. Sorry it's not been the best vlog. More vlogs are definitely coming, don't worry. And uh, until next time, drive safe. Thank you. Bye bye.